Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline of night prayer on this Wednesday of Holy Week. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We have a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day and we just come into the presence of God. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place. You are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue. But you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form, as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O oh God? How deep is the sum of them? If I count them, there are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The scripture reading is from Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And we come to the Nunc Dimittis. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. We come to a time of prayer. And we take a moment of quiet where we just lift up to God all of those people and situations that lie on our hearts today. And we take hold of those things and we lift them firmly to God and ask for his tender care, for his compassion, for his love, for his peace. And the daily prayer from Canterbury Cathedral today. Loving God, may this moment be to us a time of blessing, a time to pause, to thank you for all the good things you give us. to delight in your goodness around us. Open our hearts and minds to your presence, that we may be a blessing to all whom we meet today and in the days ahead. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. May God hold you in his love and fill you with his peace today and every day. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, Help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Take care. God bless.